and welcome to a new video of Made by Sim. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this beautiful heart shaped coaster and potholder. Now I made these, all of these, out of just one skein of the iShirns Natural Cotton Air. If you buy this yarn at iShirns, I would ask you guys, could you please be so kind to use my link? And you buy this in a pack of four skeins. So you can make a lot of coasters, like a lot. It's a thin one, a thin yarn, it's a number two yarn. Um, and this is actually the same yarn, but just with a bigger hook size and the S method. Um, if you're not familiar with the S method, the S, um, maybe you can remember it by the S of seam method. Um, I'll explain this at the very end of this video, how this works, right? Um, I made three with a shell border and I made three with a chain, um, chain space border. Just like that, so you can choose uh, with which one you like the best, or um, if you want to do it just the same as I did, you want to make both uh, versions in one set. Please enjoy watching the video. Oh, oops, I almost forgot to tell you one thing. I'm sure that you want to know how big my coasters are. This one from the um, side here to here is 23 centimeters which is nine inches yeah and 19 centimeters or seven and a half inches now the small one with the um, shell border 15 centimeters by 12 or 5 inches by 6 inches and the small ones 14 inches or five and a half sorry 14 centimeters or five and a half inch or and 12 centimeters or four and three quarters of an inch I don't know how to say that but you guys probably have seen it how much it is they're perfect as a gift for mom for Christmas for a fair um, please do not forget to share them with me if you made them um, Subscribe to my YouTube channel, please, um, and hit that notification bell so you will get notified every single time I upload another video. There will be in the title of the video if it is a Dutch video or an English video. So if it is a Dutch video, you don't have to watch it if you don't um, speak my language. Then just watch only watch the English ones. Um, and please do not forget the thumbs up. I would be so honored if you could do that for me. Anyhow, please enjoy watching the video. Bye. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Isharns, the natural cotton air, which is a 100% cotton yarn, 100 grams, 300 meters per ball of yarn. And they do suggest to knit this with three to four millimeters knitting needles. And it's um, a number two yarn, a fine number two yarn. Now, I'm going to crochet these coasters. Um, and I'm going to use a three millimeter crochet hook for doing that. If you are a really tight crocheter, if you have a tight tension, then I would suggest to use a three and a half millimeter crochet hook. But just give it a try and see what works best for you. So I use a three millimeter um, measuring tape, my, but that is just because I want to show you guys how big um, my coasters are. Pair of scissors 
a darning needle to sew in all my ends and a stitch marker. And that's about it. Start off with um, a magic circle. I'm just going to show you guys real slow how I do this, alright? So, across in front and two strands of yarn like that on the back side of my hand. Then get your uh, crochet hook with the hook facing down. Put it underneath the first strand of yarn and with your hook you grab the second one and you pull it underneath the first one. Then make a little twist so now you have a sort of a loop on your hook. Then go to the first strand of yarn here, grab that and pull it through the loop on your hook. This is a magic circle and you close it off by doing the chain one. Right? Then you can let go, close the circle a little, because that is just a lot easier to work in. Right, so you already did a chain one, like when you closed the circle, right? Now, add two more chains, so now you have a chain three. The chain three counts as your very first double crochet. In this um, magic loop we need five double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Three. Four. And five. Now close the circle a little by pulling on your tail end, just like that. Leave it uh, a little bit open because we need to work into that little small hole here uh, later on. Now chain three. This chain three is your very first double crochet. Turn your work just like that. Now here this stitch is the last double crochet of the previous row you did. This one is the first double crochet. Now we need three more double crochet into that stitch. Okay. One. Two. And three. So now you have four double crochets into that in that very first stitch, counting the chain three as a stitch well as well, right? Now, chain one. This is for a chain one space. Skip the next three stitches. One, two, three. The next four stitches will be into the same stitch. Actually, it is the last double crochet of the previous round. Uh, actually, it is the chain three. But we count that as a, a double crochet. So count up three stitches. Insert your hook there. I'm going to show you guys where that is. Look, here. This space. Let me show you. Sorry, I can't see it myself. This is where it needs to go. Chain three, one, two, and three. Then four double crochets into that stitch. One, two, three, four. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. There you go. So these are your five double crochets. And this is the first one. You have four double crochets into the first one. You skip three and you have four double crochets 
in top of the third chain at the beginning of this round, this um, um, row. Okay. Now chain three. The chain three is again the very first double crochet. Insert your hook into the very first stitch here, just like we did in the previous row. There you go. Three double crochets into that stitch. So in total you have four. Chain one. Now go to the chain one space and make a V stitch in there. And the V stitch in uh, this pattern is a double crochet, two chains, and a double crochet into the same stitch. Chain one. Now skip the very first, uh, the next three stitches, one, two, three, and make four double crochets into the last stitch. The last stitch again is the chain three. So you should be crocheting in the third of the chain three, four double crochets. One, two, three, and one more is four. This is what it looks like. Chain three. This is the very first stitch of this row. Three double crochet into the same stitch. One, two, and three. Chain one. Skip these stitches here. Skip the chain one space. And here is your V stitch. Now, I'm gonna call this the first leg of your V. And this is the second leg of your V. Go to the first leg of your V, the very first double crochet. And make a double crochet in, uh, on top of the double crochet. There you go. Chain one. Now, the V also has two chains. We need five double crochets over the chain two space. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain one. Here is the second leg of your V stitch. Double crochet on top of that double crochet. There you go. Chain one. Skip the next three stitches. One, two, three. And the last stitch, the chain three. Insert your hook in the third of these chain three. And make four double crochets into that stitch. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Turn your work. Three double crochets in the same stitch. One, two, The very first chain three is also a double crochet. So again, you have four double crochets. Let me zoom in a bit. There you go. Might be easy for you guys to see what I'm doing. Chain one. Now, skip these stitches here. Skip the chain one. Here is the first double crochet. Make a V stitch on top of that double crochet. So, double crochet, chain two, 
and double crochet into the same stitch. Chain one. Skip two stitches, well, skip the um, chain stitch, then you have five double crochets right there. Skip the first one and go into the second one and double crochet. Double crochet on the third and double crochet on the fourth. Chain one. Now skip the next double crochet. Skip the chain space and go to the last double crochet. This one. V stitch on top of that double crochet. So double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Chain one. Now you have four double crochets here. Skip the first three and go to the last one and a double crochet in the top of the chain three. Four double crochets. Two, three, four. I'm going to show you guys what my work looks like at this moment. There you go. Okay. Chain three, and again, this is your very first double crochet. Add three double crochets into the same stitch. Three. There you go, now you have four stitches. Okay. Chain one. Have a look at your work. Skip these stitches, skip the chain one space, and here you have your very first V. The first leg, the chain two, and the second leg. Go to the first leg of your V stitch. Double crochet on top of that. Then chain one. Go to the chain two space. Five double crochets over the chain two, chain two space. Two, three, four, and five. Chain one. Skip the second leg. We're not increasing in this stitch. Skip the chain one space. Now you have three double crochets in a row. Skip the first one and a double crochet in the second. Chain one. Skip the third. Skip the chain one space. Skip the first leg of your V stitch. Now here you have the chain two space of your V stitch. Make five double crochets over the chain two, chain two space. One, two, Three, sorry about that, three, four, and five. Chain one. Now, here is the second leg. Double crochet in the second leg and chain one. Skip one, two, three stitches and make four double crochets in the last stitch, just like we did all the rows before. One, two, three, and four. There you go. This is what you look, your work looks like so far. Next row. It's one, two, three, six. Row number seven. Yes. Chain three is your double crochet. 
three double crochets into the same stitch. One, two, three. Chain one. Now, skip the stitches. Skip the chain one space. Here is the very first double crochet. Make a V stitch on top of that double crochet. Just double crochet, chain two, double crochet into the same stitch. Chain one. Skip the chain one space. Here you have five double crochets in a row. Skip the first one and work over the next three stitches, one stitch in each stitch. Two, three, double crochets, chain one. Skip the last double crochet, skip the chain space. Here is the next double crochet. Make a V stitch on top of that double, uh, just one double crochet. It's double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain one. One. Here is, um, skip the chain one space. Five double crochets, chain one and a double crochet. Now go to the five double crochets in a row. Skip the first one and over the next three stitches, one a double crochet. Let me see, I did that wrong. Um, there you go. So in the second one, in the third one, and into the fourth stitch as well. Just one double crochet. Chain one, skip the fifth double crochet, skip the chain one space and go to the next double crochet and make a V stitch on top of that one. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Chain one. One, two, three stitches. And in the last stitch, four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And this is, there you go, this is what it looks like. Row number eight. One, two, three stitches, three chains. Turn your work. Three double crochets into the same stitch. Chain one. double crochet on the first leg of your V stitch. There you go. Chain one. Five double crochets into the chain two space of the V stitch. Two. Three. Four. Five. Chain one. Skip the second leg. Skip the chain one space. Now you have three double crochets right there. Skip the first one. Double crochet in the second one. Chain one. Skip the third one. Skip the chain one space. Skip the first leg and work five double crochets into the chain two space of the V stitch. Two. Three. Four, five, chain one. Skip the second leg as well. Skip the chain two space. Sorry, skip, skip the chain one space. Now you have the three double crochets right there. Make a double crochet in the middle one, in the middle stitch, in the center stitch. So skip the first, in the second one, double crochet, chain one. Skip the third one. 
skip the chain one space, skip the first leg of your V stitch, five double crochets over the chain two space of your V stitch, three, four, five, chain one. Now, this is the last and second leg of your V stitch. Just one double crochet on top of that stitch. Chain one. Skip one, two, three stitches and on top of the last double crochet. Where is it here? There you go. Four double crochets. One. Two. Three. F4. Now, this is what your work should look like right now. Okay? Things are going to be a little different as of the next row. Um, yeah. Chain. Three. One, two, three. Turn your work. Skip all the stitches right here and go to the chain one space. Make four double crochets into the chain one space. One, two, three, four. Chain one. Skip. The first double crochet here. Skip the second one. Skip, skip the chain space and skip the second one. Now double crochet on top of the next stitch. So the middle three stitches of the um, five double crochets of the previous row. One double crochet in each. show you the look okay chain one skip the next stitch skip the chain one space and make a V stitch on top of the double crochet double crochet chain two double crochet chain three now here you have the five double crochets. Skip the first two and into the third one which is the center stitch. Single crochet. So insert your hook, grab your yarn, you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. Chain three. Skip the next two stitches, skip the chain space and go to the double crochet right there. V stitch, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain one. Skip the first two stitches, sorry, skip the first stitch and in the second, the third and the fourth stitch, one double crochet, chain one. It is like reading cats and dogs at this moment. Okay, um, we did that chain one. Now skip the next double crochet, skip the chain space and skip the last double crochet there. Go to the chain one space and make four double crochets into the chain one space. One, two, three, four. Skip three stitches and go to the last double crochet. Insert your hook in top of the chain three and make one double crochet. 
and that is row number nine. Row number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Row number ten. Chain three. Turn your work. Skip all these stitches here, all the four stitches, and you go to the chain one space and make four double crochets. One, two, three, four. Chain one. Skip the three stitches right there. Skip the first leg of your V stitch and make five double crochets over the chain two space of the V stitch. Three, four, five. Chain one. Now actually chain three. Skip the second leg, skip the chain space and go to the single crochet of the previous row and make a single crochet on top of the single crochet. Just like that. Chain three. Five double crochets into the V stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain one. Skip, skip, skip all the three stitches here and go to the chain space and make four double crochets into that chain space. Two, three, four. Skip the next four stitches and go to the third of the chain three and make a double crochet into the third stitch. And that's it for row number ten. Row number 11. Chain 3. Turn your work. Four double crochets. Skip these. Four double crochets and four double crochets into this chain one space. So skip these and work four double crochets into that chain one space. One. Two. Three, four. One, two, chain three. Skip these stitches and go to the last double crochet of the four double crochets and uh, of the five double crochets. Sorry about that. And make a single crochet in the last stitch. There you go. Chain three. Single crochet on top of the single crochet. Chain three. Skip. Single crochet on top of the um, first double crochet. Chain three. Skip all these stitches here and go to the chain one space there and make four double crochets into that chain one space. Two, three, four. Skip the four double crochets and work one 
double crochet into the third of the chain three. There you go. Okay. Now we start. We are going to start doing the border. Um, chain one. Now we just made this double crochet, right? Here you have a little space, right there. You see it here. Make a single crochet into that space. Get your stitch marker and place the stitch marker into the top of the single crochet. I'm going to show you in a minute, but it's so small, it's hard to show and make one at the same time. There you go. So in, in top of the single crochet right there. Chain three. Skip the, the uh, stitch here and go to the next space you find, which is here. Where are you guys? Guys, where are you? Focus please. Right. So skip this and go to that little small hole there. Make a single crochet there. One, two, three. Go to the next space. There. So skip this and go to that space. Chain three. single crochet. Chain three. Now, skip that. Here is a little space we can work in. Single crochet. Chain three. Here's the next one. One, Two, three. So try to find all the spaces of the of all the rows, right? Here, the next one, right there. Chain three. Next one is right there. Sorry, here it is. One, two, three. Single crochet. One, two, three. Single crochet. Wrong space seam. There. One, two, three. There. One, two, three. Now, the next space is the space where your magic circle is. So insert your hook there and single crochet. To be sure that you have all the right uh, all the right amount of spaces, please count as off your stitch marker. So here's your stitch marker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have eleven chain spaces. You should have eleven chain spaces as well. Chain three. Go to the next one, so around the corner, there. One, two, three. Single crochet. One, two, three chains. Next one is here. One, two, three. Next one. One, two, three. One, 
one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, this is where my corner starts again. See? Here, here's the corner of your heart. It's basically just the same. Work in the first stitch. There you go. One, two, three. Here. Into that stitch. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, here is the um, double crochet, and here we have the first four um, double crochet of the top of your heart. Insert your hook in the first one, in the first double crochet. I make a double crochet, uh, sorry, single crochet. One, two, chain three, go to the last one. So now you have skip the rest of the double crochet stitches. This is the last one, but you don't need the last stitch, you need the first chain right there. So this is the last double crochet, and here, if you just use your thumb to do that, you see another stitch right there, that is a chain stitch there. Insert your hook in that stitch and make a single crochet. Sorry, it's hard to hold up my work that high so I cannot reach my stitch. So, single crochet in there. Chain three. Um, single crochet into the top of the single crochet. One, two, chain three, single crochet on top of the single crochet, chain three, single crochet on top of the chain three, uh, sorry, on top of the single crochet. I need more yarn. Chain three. Now, we're going to do it a little different than we did on the other side, but it'll look the same. So go to the first of the chain four and make a single crochet into the first stitch. Then, now we have two options. You have the option to have a border like this one. So like this one. This is option number one. And then you have an option to do border number two, which is this one, the one with the shells, right? I'm gonna show you guys first how to make this one, how to do the border for this one, okay? Now, instead of closing the round by doing a chain three and then a slip stitch into the very first stitch, we're going to make a chain one. Then take out your stitch marker and make a half double crochet into the very first single crochet at the beginning of this round. Yarn over, insert your hook in the in top of the uh, single crochet, grab your yarn, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, now chain one and make a single crochet into the middle of that space. Get your stitch marker, place it back on top of the chain, uh, of the um, single crochet. Now, instead of making chain three spaces, we will be crocheting chain four spaces. One, two, three, four. Go to the next chain three space and make a single crochet. One, two, three, four. Go to the next chain space and single crochet. One, two, three, four, single crochet. 
One, two, three. Oops. Four. Single crochet. One, two, three, four. Single crochet. And this is what you do until you reach the point where your point is right here. Okay? As soon as you're here, I'll be back to show you what to do here. Okay. Here is the point, and on both sides of the point you have the chain three. Now, chain four, go to the first one and single crochet. One, two, three, four. Skip the point and go to the next one. If you think, or if it, it is not okay for you to have a chain four, because your work will um, will be doing like that, so it will stand up like that. Then instead of doing a chain four, do a chain five. But for me, the chain four is it's perfect. There you go. One, two, three, four. And this is how you continue on the other side. If you reach a point that you are here. So here is the middle. And you did your, chain, your uh, single crochet right there. As soon as you did your chain. Um, as soon as you did that stitch there. Then, then I'll be back to show you what to do next in this area here. Alright. Okay. So I did that single crochet, then chain three, skip the single crochet. Now you have all these chain three spaces right there. This is the first one. This is the second one. Okay, so first one, second one. One and two. Insert your hook between the second and the third one, right there. And single crochet. Chain one. Skip the single crochet. One, two. So between the second and the third one, insert your hook and make a single crochet. Chain three. Single crochet into the next chain space. Oops. One, two, three, four. Take your stitch marker out. Insert your hook into the top of the single crochet and make a slip stitch. And this is option number one and this is what option number one looks like All right now if you want to have the shell border just like this one then frog well i'm going to frog my last chain um four row there you go and the very last chain space as well. So here is the single crochet at the beginning of the chain three um, space row. Okay, now one, two, chain three, insert your hook into the single crochet, slip stitch, and slip stitch into the chain three space. Now, chain three, and if you have all the right amount of chain spaces around um, your border should look exactly the same as mine i'm going to count for you guys how many of the chain three spaces i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven I have 28 chain spaces. Okay, now um, I need a chain three. Chain three is 
a double crochet into the same chain space six more double crochets two three four five and six counting the very first chain three one two three four five one two three four five six and, and one more uh, you should have seven double crochets go to the chain three space the next one and single crochet in there seven uh, double crochets into the next chain space one two three four five six seven next one single crochet and this is what you do until you are here at the point of our heart okay so the bottom of our heart if you are right there then I'll be back to show you guys what to do next all right now I did, just did a single crochet. Here is the point or the bottom of the heart. The chain three is here. Here is a single crochet and on the other side a chain three as well. Into the first chain three, seven double crochets. Just like we did before. Two, three, four, five, six and seven now on top of the single crochet a triple crochet yarn over twice insert your hook into the single crochet grab your yarn yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two now go to the next chain three space and I'm going to work over my tail end so I don't have to um, so it is easier for sewing in later on because I can skip one more time if you if that makes sense <laughs> anyhow I'm going to work over my tail end seven double crochets one two three four five six seven next chain space sorry a single crochet and seven in the next seven a double crochet in the next two three four five six seven single crochet in the next and this is what you do all the way till you are over here so if you did the last um, shell somewhere around here but before the middle um, then I'll be back to show you guys what to do in this part of the hard coaster right right here is the middle here's the center of the coaster well it's the top center I did seven double crochets now here is the center stitch which is the um, single crochet here you have the chain three space underneath there is another chain three space go between the second and the third chain three space just right there so the first one the second one in between the the second and the third one right there make a single crochet chain one skip the single crochet 
here's the chain 3 space, here's the second one, and between the second and the third one, a single crochet. And then skip the single crochet and go to the next chain 3 space. You have two chain 3 spaces left, go to the first one and make 7 double crochet. Three, four, five, six, seven. Insert your hook into the next chain space, single crochet, go to the very first chain, uh, very first stitch here, the chain three, insert your hook into the uh, third of the chain three. You need to grab two strands of yarn seam. Go underneath two strands of yarn. One, and two. Grab your yarn. And pull through. Now, you can close with the chain one, but then you get a little bump. Here it is. There's a little bump on top of your work. You don't want that. I did that uh, for the first couple of coasters. You don't want that. So it doesn't look that uh, as pretty as it should. So cut your yarn, pull through, and use the yarn tail um, and the darning needle, which I cannot find at this moment. Where is it? Here it is and sew in all the ends that you have on the back side of your coaster. And as soon as you do that, I'll be back to show you guys how to make this big one. Um, the pattern is exactly the same, but um, in my Dutch video, oh, you cannot even see it because I need to zoom out. There it is. This is the big one, and this is the small one. I did this one with a 5 millimeter crochet hook and the S method. The S method is really, really easy. I'm going to show you that in a minute. The S method. I can make another um, a video just for the S method, but I'm gonna I can show you that in this video as well. The S method just use the same yarn, just like that, and put it on your surface in the shape of an S, just like that. I hope you can see this. Here is an S. Yeah. Then push this to the middle and this one to the middle as well. Right? Now, grab this yarn, grab these strands of yarn and hold them together. You have on this side, you have a loop. You place this loop over your working strand of yarn and you just pull this. So now you have, instead of one strand of yarn to work with, you have three strands of yarn to work with. And that's how you make the larger um, coaster. So it'll be a pot holder. Okay. Now, if you are at the very end of your loop here, you just do again the same thing. Just Grab that loop, grab your strand, your working strand of yarn, and pull it through the loop and make it bigger. So again, three strands of yarn. Okay, um, I do have another video um, that I made a, I, mean, I think I make, made a neck warmer, and I did that video in English as well. Um, and I made the whole neck warmer with this uh, method. I'm going to put a link at the very end of this video of that specific uh, video. So 
if you find it hard to see what I just did, you can see it in that video too. Um, now guys, if you want me to make a separate video of this um, method, then let me know and I'm going to show you that later on. Alright? Now, um, here. I'm going to make a magic circle. Just using the three strands of yarn. There you go. Right? Just going to show uh, a little, little bit of the pattern that we just did. Now, I already did a chain one, then a chain two, which now you have a chain three. Four double crochets into the circle. close because counting the chain three you have five double crochets chain three one two and three turn your work Two, three, and the very end. Another chain, oh, so sorry, another four double crochets. But I almost, I'm almost out of yarn. Look at that. Because if I keep continue working like that, I will end up having just a one strand of yarn again. So before I run out of three strands of yarn, I just find my loop here, place it over the working strand of yarn, just like that, and pull through. And this is how you make, uh, just out of one ball of yarn, um, with the S method, the S of seam method, if you find it hard to remember, the S of seam. And you make another um, three strands of yarn instead of one strand of yarn. And that's how this works, All right? Look, this piece is equal to this piece right here. And look how much bigger it is. And that's how you do it. Right, so I'm gonna work in all the yarn ends. I just didn't do that yet. I'm going to do that and then I'll be back to show you the complete set of coasters and potholder. See you in a minute guys. And this is what the complete set looks like. The potholder and the six coasters. Now, in total for the complete set I used this amount of yarn. Um, and just about that amount of um, meters or yardage. Um, I'll still have to wait so uh, my work so uh, therefore I'm gonna put it down into the <laughs> here so in the video um, I decided that I want wanted to have one thick one using the S method just like I just showed you in the last part of the video um, and three with the um, shell border and three with the chain space border Everyone is unique and um, so you can decide which border you like the best um, and which one you want to use for your set of coasters or maybe you want to do it the same way as I did and you wanted to give it to uh, mom um, or your grandma, uh, your neighbor or whoever you want to give a beautiful gift and to show some love to them. Um, by giving them a set of these uh, beautiful heart-shaped coasters and potholder. Uh, I think that they make um, a perfect item for a fair as well. Um, 
And if you're making a set and you want to use the same yarn as I did, then please go down to the description box of this video where you can find the link to um, Ice Yarns. The Ice Yarns Natural Cotton Air is the one that I used. Um, if you're going to make these coasters or the pot holder, um, then please uh, post a picture um, on my Facebook group Made by Seam Headquarters or um, tag me on Instagram Made by Seam um, and show yours with the rest of the world and spread the word and tell them about this video um, and help me by um, becoming a subscriber to my YouTube channel and please do not forget to give me that thumbs up and when you become a subscriber or when you are a subscriber Please do not forget to hit that little bell that will get that you will get a notification every time I upload another video and I do know I do um, and I upload videos in both Dutch and English I'm trying to do as much English videos as I can but still it is um, sometimes I find it still a little hard to do the ones in English um, but please support me and let me know that you like them by giving the thumbs up and please comment down below what you think of this video um, thank you so much for watching if you're going to make yours or if you're going to have a look at the website of our insurance link down below in the description box then please do not forget to enjoy bye for now Hi and welcome to a new video of Made by Sheem. Single crochet in the chain three. Sorry, chain. It should be a chain four seam. Let's do that again. Chain four, not a chain three. Chain four. One, two, three, four. A chain three. <laughs> chain three. Now it's cost to go in that shit. So in between the second and the third one, single crochet, chain four.